Hey guys, today I want to show you how to create your own digital escape room using the resources that I provided. So what you're going to do is just follow these steps. The first thing we got to do is make a copy of the Google Slides, and I've already done that here. You just click on that link and you click on make a copy, and it's going to copy it right into your Google Drive. The next step is you're going to make a copy of the Google Form for activity number one, and Basically, you just click on that link. It's going to take you to this right here where you make a copy. Now, once you've made the copy of that passage, that form, there's a couple of things that you need to do. So you've got here, this is the actual form that's in your Google Drive, but you want to make this for students to be able to respond on it. So you, you're going to click on Send. You're going to click on Add Collaborators and you're going to change this to anyone with the link can add or edit, okay? And then you're gonna click on send again. There's the link. You can shorten the link um, URL if you would like, but you don't have to, and then you just copy that into um, your computer. So now I'm gonna go over here to our slides. I want to link activity one to that form and I'll just click on that picture. I'll click on the link button right here and then I'm going to paste that into this Google slide. So when I click on that, when students click on that, it's going to come up and look like the form that they can actually fill out, not the form that you would use to get your responses. The next thing that you're gonna do now that you've linked your form is you're gonna make a copy of the code form. So it looks like this. You just click on that link, make a copy. It's gonna go into your Google Drive. It's the exact same process as we just did. We're gonna click on send. We are going to click on add collaborators. And then we're going to get the link. So we're just add the collaborators. Sorry, my computer's being very slow. We're going to change that to anyone with the link. And then we're going to click again to link this form to our document. So I'm going to link it right here to these words. It says click here to enter the codes. So I'm going to highlight that, insert link, and then control V or command V. So now I'm finished with this form. All of these other ones have been linked for you. We're going to go to file and we're going to publish to the web. And then you can just, um, let's go to our published settings. I don't know. Oh, wait, before we do that, I'm sorry. We have to share this. I always forget about that sometimes. We have to share, go to advanced. Right now it's private, so we want to click on anyone with the link can view and save that. Then we're going to go to file and we're going to publish to the web and we'll just publish it and say OK. It's going to give us our, um, our URL, so I'm going to click on Command C. And this would be the actual link that you would give students to get to the escape room. So now you'll notice that they can click on activity one, they can click on activity two, they can click on activity three, they can click on activity four, and here's what they all look like. So activity one is your passage. Activity two is your vocabulary where they're going to make a copy of that. Activity three is your puzzle and activity four is another slide about the life cycle of a frog and they would just make a copy of it. And then of course they also have the ability to go to the form and enter their codes. So that is how you create your activity.